Hey, good morning, guys. It's uh, Goose here. It is uh, Monday the 8th. Um, I was just going through some stuff over the weekend. I uh, already published out my uh, watch list. I wanted to bring you guys just a, a few bigger picture thoughts um, and just rattle them off. Probably take about five minutes to go through. Um, maybe not even. Um, but I did want to go through that with you guys. So I figured I'd put a little video out, a little bit easier to show what I'm looking at. And uh, um, go from there. My watch list is already out there at stocktraders.net. Hopefully you've gone and checked it out and you like what we're doing there. I was off the later part of last week, so sorry about that. Um, anyway, anything I'm covering here is just for you guys, informational purposes, not a solicitation, not telling you to go buy, sell, short, do whatever with the stock. Just showing you some things that I'm looking at and look. At, and, and in this case, what I'm going to be looking at on a uh, little bit of a bigger picture thing. I, I trade a lot, a lot off the 50s and the 200 days and pivots. Um, and I'll show you a couple names are getting my interest that I had set alerts on. So figured it'd be kind of cool for you guys to kind of see that. So please read the disclaimer and, and note everything that I'm talking about. Uh, again, not a solicitation, informational. Let's just jump right into it. I, I don't have this uh, pre-done uh so I'm kind of going, try to get this done for you guys early before the market starts. And the first thing I was looking at was uh, AEO, American Eagle. And I'm just going to be real brief on what I'm looking at on these. There's about five or six names. I'm just going to show you what I'm looking at and see if uh, what happens. Uh, but on AEO, as you can see, it's held the 200-day a couple days in a row. I'm going to see if it wants, if I want to trade it off that with the market coming in a little bit here, guys. Hang on one second. Let me turn off my trade the news. Sorry about that. You can hear that in the background. Um, but what I'm looking at is, is, a, is a, pot a potential trade. If the market opens up soft like it's looking at, uh, maybe trade it off this $22 level, which happens to be the 200-day, which it's holding. I'm not very bullish on the uh, um, retail side. I'll tell you that now. There's a few names, actually, I'm looking at from the short side um, that I feel like are breaking down. So I just have that in mind. But AEO is holding the 200-day for now. I'm going to jump over to BBY. Um, there's another one, and this one here I'm looking for a potential fade. I would usually call this a broken stock when it pushed through here last time and broke all these lows. And what I'm looking at on BBY is you can see it closed below the 200-day a couple days in a row, broke the monthly pivot, and to me it's got plenty of downside left. Um, my initial thing is thinking that it has a, a 70 magnet to it or better. So I like the potential fade um, on any strength on BBY as it is broken. And if we do have some more heaviness in the market, I feel like this could be a really easy go-to name on uh, BBY. So I'll keep that in line. Uh, FL going to jump over to. Guys, if you can't follow my symbols, by the way, and I'm going too fast, they're right up here in the corner. Um, and this is another one, again, I feel like it's starting to break down. And what I had here is this... Uh, you know, it's already down in the 46s uh, this morning, but I was watching this 46 level for another break. I know it's close to a monthly pivot, but it's close below the 200, the 50, the 20 day. I feel like it's on its way to 46, but there's not enough meat on it for that. So I want to keep an eye on this one. I have some alert set if, as it approaches 46. But you know these things, they could have those big wash candles like you saw BBY did a couple days ago. So I want to keep an eye on this and maybe you know trade a, a, a fade against prior close or something like that if it's acting heavy. So I'll have uh, FL on my list. I'm going to switch over to cores. Again, there are a few of these that are, that are breaking down that are on the retail side. So sorry to go through these, but I still want to show you what I'm looking at. Cores. Here it is right here. You can kind of see it closed. Now this is a funny one because it closed just above the 200 day. So usually I'm like, I'm still okay with it, but I feel like... You could see right here the 6580, if it cracks that, it's going to give a little bit of room and there's going to be a, a decent trade on it. So I have alerts set down here as it approaches 66. Let's keep an eye on Coras if it goes through this 200 day. And I also, if you look at these daily candles, I'm not in love by the way they're acting. Um, you, you know, you could see the wicks on these things. It did a little push back up into this pivot and up and towards that 50 and, and the 20 day with no such luck. And, and overall, again, my feeling on the uh, retail thing is not too strong right now, which brings me over to another retail stock, and that's going to be uh, Macy's. Um, and Macy's another one you can see right now it's holding on for dear life you can see the action on Friday eh, it could go either way but what I have is a break through this 32 or break through 34 um, with a target price of 30 I think it'll have a pretty quick 30 magnet on it uh, but you can see it's already closed all this uh, through the support it's holding on this little channel here but you can see it's kind of uh, trending down in my opinion I think it's ready to snap so we'll see what happens on Macy's you never know it could hold it um, I don't want to get long against the 200 day in the pivot here um, because I don't think there's enough room for it I'd rather play the fade through here and maybe a, a quick 30 magnet on that so Macy's I'm looking at as a potential fade um, Momo I've been trading a lot of I've, I've been pretty good with this name and uh, the room could tell you um, and Momo, what I'm looking at is this one closed above the uh, – had, had a big day on uh, on Friday with the market. It came right down to the 200-day. This, this name has had some really nice bounces out after it's come in. You can see right here. 
So I'm going to see if it holds this 200 day. I, with the market coming in this morning, nothing I need to jump full full bore on. I'll wait, see if it what it does over here at the 3670 area or off the support. But I will watch today to see if it holds the 38 area. I think it's already coming down to right here. You can see this weekly pivot over on the five minute here and the prior day support. But I have a feeling it might break that at the open. Uh, so the next level is going to be in this 37 to 3670, which is a monthly and a weekly pivot. But uh, Momo, I want to look for a turn and I like the, the possibility of a long opportunity there. And then lastly, I just want to go over was a PDD. This is the one that gave a nice fade opportunity, you know, from, from down here. But, you know, here it is, and, and it's starting to look like it's uh, – you know, wanting to hold on here. I thought it was going to hold the support, but the market was a pretty heavy. But you can see when I see these, uh, you know, this big wick, how, how it got bought back up pretty quick. That's what piqued my interest on this. So if it wants to wash down with the market this morning, which I'm not sure it's going to, um, I'll look to take it off the $20 level. Um, I'm not sure it's going to do that. Um, for now, I'm going to be using uh, Friday's uh, lows, which is around 20 and a half, which is also a weekly pivot. And I want to see if it wants to clear. You see this level on uh, Friday that it couldn't get through? Uh, that's what I'm going to be looking for if it wants to clear 22 for a push back up into the 20 day. So that'll be a long, just a couple uh, bigger picture things based on 200 days, monthly pivots. I know through a few other names at you guys this morning. Listen, I just to, to, to finish this up, I know my watch lists are a little bit different. I don't throw IGC and TLRY and all these names up there every day. I'm just trying to give you guys a little something different. So you can say, Hey, that was on my radar. Or, oh, I didn't realize that approached the 200 day. So guys that trade a little bit similar patterns, uh, it gives you guys a little bit uh, different names and what's typically up there today. So anyway, please come check us out over at stock trade. Net. Hope you guys find my uh, little videos that I put together helpful. And uh, any questions, just uh, hit me up. I've, I've answered quite a few people there that have just popped into the trading floor. It's a free room. And just hit me up with a couple questions or what kind of lines I'm using or anything like that. And uh, we also have a free three-day uh, three trial over in the premium floor. Uh, so you can check out what we do. We, we all come on, three of us, um, at the open. And we all, you know, as the trades are coming up, we're, we're popping them on voice, trying to put them in the uh, premium room as well. But, uh, you know, we uh, try to do as much as we can for our members over there. So hopefully you've uh, checked it out and hopefully you like what you're saying. So let's have a great day. Great start to the week. It's still early in the month. We've got a lot of month ahead of us. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day today. I hope you had a good weekend and we'll uh, see you soon. Thanks, guys.